Welcome back, everyone. I'm in the kitchen now with Corey Pugh and Schnabel Tier Beer, Wine, and Cheese. Right. I got to know where that name came from. I'm so <laughs> proud of myself for saying it right. Tell me where the name came from to start off with. Well, Schnabel Tier is German for platypus. And so he's our little <laughs> our little logo guy. And so um, that's, what, that's where he came from. Cheese with a sense of humor right. then as well. <laughs> Very cool. Where are you guys based in Central Indiana? We're in Rochester, okay. um, about halfway between Indianapolis and South Bend, right on 31. You can see us from, from 31, so just a quick exit off of, off of highway. And from what I understand, you guys are the first or only or have some special title with how you've combined wine, cheese, and beer under the same roof. Right. As far as we can tell, we're the only people in the United States, we can't find anyone else doing it, <laughs> making the three products together under the same roof. But did you find that out because you tried to call somebody and find out how they were doing it? <laughs> yeah. up and you're like, are we the only ones right. pulling this off? Yes. <laughs> That's great. Well, we want to talk about everything that you do, but I got to tell you, I've been at a couple of Christmas parties, right, this time of year. What I've noticed is if you set out a big cheese plate, it is gone mm -hmm. by the end of the night. I don't know, maybe sometimes the alcohol can stick around, <laughs> the meat, whatever, but the cheese plate goes fast. So let's start here. Tell me a little about what the kind, kinds of cheeses that you make. Right, the cheese is kind of where we started at, um, what we started making. We make about six or seven different kinds of cheese pretty much all the time. Um, a Gouda, we have a Raclette. Okay. Um, oh, an Asiago, a Gruyere, and um, then we make about 20 different flavored Goudas My that goodness. we do, depending do on, on the time. We do have a smoked yes, Gouda. Serious problem mm -hmm. with smoked Gouda. Okay, so I'm seeing here Chipotle Gouda. This one's a Oro Artisan cheese. Where do you get the ideas for some of your flavors here? Sweet basil Gouda. Um, we just kind of come up with them on our own, whatever we think we would like to eat. Yeah. And try kind of try them all. We've had some that have failed and some that have been really great. Our Chipotle. Um, Gouda, we actually won a gold medal on the U.S. Champion Cheese Contest in Wisconsin, right our here. first year in business. So <laughs> that's that one, and we're very proud of that one. Well, that's fantastic. Is that your best seller then? It is pretty good. And then our Raclette, we have um, Piazza Produce uh, distributes for us all around the state, right. uh, different retailers and restaurants and chefs and things. So they take a lot of Raclette to a lot of chefs for and us. And I know so. you have a fun fact too about where the actual cheese comes from, your, your herds out there. Right. We do go get our milk ourselves. Um, we have a farmer about 10 miles away from us um, that put his kind of herd together for us. Mm -hmm. And um, the mixture that he came up with was really high in butter fat. <laughs> so it makes our cheese really so good. You went, yes, please. <laughs> yes. We'll take that. So when you say you go get it yourself, I'm picturing like a big long stick over your shoulders with the buckets on either <laughs> side and you're walking. No, we actually use a truck. <laughs> a little more sophisticated yeah. than that. That was my next guess. Very cool. Where can folks get this <laughs> the size of cheese here? Those are at our retail store in Rochester. Oh. Um, that's an actual full wheel of cheese and um, Piazza will sell it like that for wow. us or um, we can do it in the retail packages also. And it's got to be at your store there in Rochester. Yes. Very mm -hmm. cool. That's wonderful. And then of course we're also going to talk a little about your wine and beer in our next segment. Uh, but first off, before we get to that then, tell me why you combined all these together then. What was your idea? Well. Um, who doesn't want all three of them together? <laughs> they're like, they're a great pairing, bro. They're a what great pairing, and um, it's just been something that we wanted to do and want to kind of put together, make it a nice stop for mm -hmm. people. Um, you want to stop at a winery and have some cheese with it or, right. you know, have some cheese and wine together. And we do have a nice pairing on all of our labels. Our cheese labels have a nice wine pairing on them. Oh, the suggestion right And then right our there. wine labels have the cheese pairing on them also, so you can kind of put them together if you don't know what you're looking like, right. if you want to get a gift or kind of know what goes together. So Friends we've kind for of life. done that for you. I yeah. love it. Well, I'm glad to talk to somebody so passionate about what they do. We'll check back in with you in a little bit to talk more about this side All right. of the table. In the meantime, Marcus has your forecast.